In life, often we come to realize that we're not the first choice in the eyes of others, not holding a significant place in their hearts. It seems their care always turns elsewhere, prompting us to question our own worth. But today, we embark on a journey of transformation. It's not about the aim to be loved. It's about forging ourselves into individuals that everyone desires to be close to. We're not trying to change you into someone else, but simply to let your brightest aspects shine forth brilliantly. If you've ever felt forgotten or undervalued, this will be your turning point. We will explore ways to ensure that every person recognizes and listens to you in all relationships. Let go of the feeling of being invisible, for it's time to rewrite your life story step by step, phase by phase. Subscribe and join us on the journey from being overlooked to becoming unforgettable. Are you ready to change your life? Let's get started. Number one, be fascinating. In the Stoic philosophy, to become someone unforgettable, you must learn to shine intriguingly. Here, being mysterious doesn't mean concealing or hiding oneself, but rather, it's an art of revealing oneself step by step, layer by layer, much like how a painting is created stroke by stroke. Each detail you share acts as a piece of a puzzle, inviting curiosity and a desire to explore further. Imagine meeting someone and learning everything about them at once. There would be nothing left to discover, nothing to look forward to. Conversely, a person who reveals themselves gradually, treating each meeting as an opportunity to share a new story, turns every moment with them into a precious and stimulating experience. Stoics like Epictetus taught that restraint and self-control are the noblest expressions of wisdom. It's not always necessary to pour out one's soul immediately, but to wisely choose the moment and manner of sharing, like a master of interaction. This is not merely a technique to appear more interesting to others, but a way of life, a mode of being with a deep awareness of oneself and the surrounding world. Consider Marcus Aurelius, an emperor not only in charge of an empire, but also an exemplary Stoic philosopher. He did not rush to reveal his thoughts or plans, but instead revealed them bit by bit, much like someone walking through fog, only showing what is necessary and when appropriate. This restraint and composure not only made Marcus intriguing and mysterious, but were also signs of his wisdom and depth. In life, learn from Seneca to cherish each present moment without letting fears of the future overshadow it. Every story you share, every experience you open up about, should be like writing lines in a diary, not hurried but delicate, allowing relationships to develop naturally over time. Being intriguing lies not in pretense or fabricating a false image, but in how you respect and share your story consciously. By doing so, you become not just a person of allure in the eyes of those around you, but a character. Number two, justify your importance. In the journey of embracing Stoic philosophy, asserting one's value is not merely a step forward, but also a confession of our true self. This isn't about showing off or creating a false image, it's a powerful declaration of your uniqueness and irreplaceable value. Stoicism teaches us not just how to live, but how to shine in others' eyes. Look at Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, who said, you have control over your mind, not external events. Realize this, and you will find strength. From this, we learn that focusing on what we can control our actions, beliefs, and inner strength is the foundation for proving our self-worth. For instance, someone pursuing an art career without needing others' approval, a person persisting through difficulties, truly embodies their real self, a rare gem in daily life. They not only show self-respect and self-value, but also make others recognize and respect them. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, emphasized the value of time. It's not that we have a short life, 
but we waste much of it. Refusing to spend time on those who do not appreciate your value is not just an act of self-respect, but also a demonstration of how you regard your time, a precious asset. While Epictetus taught that we can't control the world, but only our reactions to it, this also applies to how we demonstrate our personal value. Seeking approval, not from the outside, but finding it within, is evidence of independence and confidence making you valuable in the eyes of others. Asserting one's value from a stoic perspective is not just a journey of self-discovery, but also a process of presenting oneself in a humble yet assertive way. It's about respecting oneself, maintaining healthy boundaries, and pursuing your goals decisively, thereby naturally attracting the respect and attention of others. They begin to see you as someone important someone worthy. Number three, create your own happiness. At the heart of Stoic philosophy, the third step towards gaining respect from others lies in creating your own joy from within. This principle is sacred because when true joy is nurtured internally, you naturally radiate an irresistible allure to those around you. It is not about wearing a mask of false happiness, but about embarking on a journey to discover and embrace what truly delights your soul. Marcus Aurelius affirmed that joy originates from the soul, stating, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This implies that happiness is in your hands, not someone else's, but stems from your thoughts and perspective on life. When you foster positive thoughts and sincerely find joy in your endeavors and accomplishments, you exude confidence and satisfaction that draws others to you. Seneca taught us about the value of finding inner peace, asserting that true joy is created by ourselves, independent of external factors. He emphasized, seek true joy by living fully in the present moment without drowning in worries about the future. This advice encourages us to cherish and enjoy each moment of life, rather than endlessly seeking happiness in things outside ourselves. Epictetus, another great philosopher, advised us to focus on what we can control, suggesting, do not seek goodness in external things, find it within yourself. This serves as a reminder that our happiness should not depend on others, but is the result of our own actions, values, and self-care. Practically, this means pursuing passions, creating a supportive environment around yourself, and maintaining your health. Building a life in which you find contentment on your own terms is crucial. When you are satisfied with yourself and your life, you no longer seek perfection from others to complete yourself. Instead, you share your fulfilled self with them. This creates a powerful allure, as others are drawn to become part of your world, not because they need to make you happy, but because they are attracted to your natural joy. This inherent quality shines from within, expressed through a positive mindset, living in the present and seeking happiness independently. This inner joy radiates outward, creating an irresistible charm that naturally makes you a priority in their lives without any need for coercion. Number four, recognize your worth and inspire others to participate. In the journey to seek priority from those around us, recognizing our true value and opening doors for contributions from others is an indispensable step. View yourself as a rare treasure, discoverable only by those with patience and dedication. This philosophy, deeply engraved by Stoic masters like Epictetus, teaches that nothing great comes in haste. Just as a gem is polished, deep connections between people are built gradually over time and through collective effort. When you extend this invitation, others begin to recognize and cherish the value and uniqueness you bring echoing Marcus Aurelius' words that happiness and self-respect are rooted within ourselves, laying the foundation for how others perceive and value us. 
A happy life is built on the little things, all found within oneself. Confidence in your own value not only attracts respect from others, but also serves as a powerful reminder to value yourself above all, as Seneca emphasized. He reminded us, our fears are more numerous in our imagination than in reality, explaining that the fear of being overlooked by others for our true worth is often unfounded. By valuing yourself, you inherently increase your value in the eyes of others. Practicing this rule means living a life that reflects your true value through personal development, self-care, and building a life you're proud of and that others aspire to join. Life is not about rushing forward, but about a patient journey where each step is defined by internal values and self-respect. Number five, define your own path. In the journey of seeking respect from others, the fifth secret doesn't lie in grand external accomplishments, but is hidden in the way we live and savor each moment of our life. This is an invitation to live passionately, pursue dreams relentlessly, and assert your independence. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher known not only for his wisdom, but also his deeds, once shared, live in harmony with yourself, and you'll blend seamlessly with the world around you. This harmony stems from conquering personal desires and finding happiness within oneself, rather than relying on validation or love from others. When you are living a life true to yourself, you naturally become special in the eyes of others. They realize you don't need anyone else to complete you, making you more appealing to them. Seneca emphasized the importance of seeking internal happiness. He said, if you wish to be loved, start by loving yourself. This teaches us not to wait or long for love and acceptance from outside sources, but to build it from within. Epictetus, another Stoic thinker, educated us on the power of focusing on our actions and how we face challenges. We are not disturbed by events, but by the views we take of them. In the context of personal life, this means you shouldn't overly concern yourself with how others view you. Concentrate on building and enjoying your own life. A true life from the Stoic perspective is when you find joy in personal hobbies, progress in your work, and relationships with family and friends that make you feel good. Set goals and tirelessly work towards achieving them. A life filled with joy and meaning naturally attracts others to want to be part of it. They see you as a source of inspiration, someone who adds value to their life. Number six, put yourself first. In the stoic way of life, self-control and self-care are not only an art, but a duty. This is the sixth secret to mastering relationships nurturing and protecting oneself with all the dignity and care you deserve. This isn't selfishness, but wisdom, a necessary foundation for freedom and confidence. By understanding and fully meeting your own needs, you paint a portrait of confidence and value, becoming a beacon that draws others' attention and admiration. Marcus Aurelius, a pillar of Stoicism, once asserted the absolute power of the mind in navigating life. Your mind is an impregnable fortress, unaffected by external events. Recognize and hold on to this strength, and you will achieve an unshakable stance that no one can disturb. This emphasizes the importance of focusing on oneself, above all what we can control, our thoughts and actions, Seneca, equally profound, highlighted the importance of self-reliance and not depending on others for happiness. He believed that the source of true joy lies deep within each person, independent of external factors. Epictetus, another Stoic master, taught us to concentrate on our capacity to act and react to unforeseen events. We cannot choose our circumstances, but we can choose how to confront them, he said underscoring that the power of self-determination is the key to satisfaction and health. In reality, prioritizing oneself is not just a choice, but a requirement. 
It means taking time for yourself, engaging in activities that bring joy and personal growth. Sometimes it means having the ability to say no when necessary to protect your health and happiness. In summary, prioritizing oneself is a strong affirmation of personal value. By taking care of yourself both mentally and physically, you not only enhance your own life quality, but also become an inspiration to others. By demonstrating your own value, you help others see their value as well. Number seven, value your time like gold. In the vast canvas of life, the seventh key step to leaving a lasting impression on others is a deep awareness of the unparalleled value of your time and attention. This encompasses a profound understanding. Each moment you choose to share, every minute you focus on someone else, is akin to bestowing a priceless gift. It's a testament to a life filled with hobbies, work, and personal experiences, making the time you give to others exceptionally special and precious. Marcus Aurelius, with his forward-thinking mindset, once advised that we cannot live as though we have thousands of years ahead of us. A powerful reminder that our time is indeed precious, and we must be selective in how we spend it. Seneca, with his insightful perspective on time, said, We do not have a short life. We waste much of it. This reminder helps us recognize the importance of using our time deliberately. By not always being available, you send a message that your time has value, thereby making others recognize and cherish that value. Epictetus, a master in focusing on what we can control, advised that we should use our time on things that improve our lives. When it comes to your time, this means devoting it to hobbies, activities, and relationships that truly matter to you and to those who genuinely appreciate and respect your time. In reality, valuing your time means you don't always have to say yes to everything. You have your own plans and the freedom to choose how to spend your time wisely, seeking a good balance between doing things for yourself and for others, ensuring you're not always the last on your list. The essence of valuing your time lies in recognizing the worth of your being and reflecting it through your time management. This entails being present in crucial moments while also reserving ample time for your personal endeavors. By doing so, you transform your presence into a coveted asset, positioning yourself as a top priority in the lives of others. Number eight, exchange ideas and planning. The eighth step to becoming significant in the eyes of others is to find a good balance in initiating conversations or plans. It means not always being the one to send the first message or suggest activities together. When you allow the other person to take the initiative sometimes, it demonstrates you have your own life and value your time. This also gives them the opportunity to show they consider you important and want to spend time with you. Marcus Aurelius once said, life is more like wrestling than dancing. This means that managing relationships requires us to be adaptable and not always lead. Sometimes we need to take a step back and let the other person come to us. It's about ensuring both parties are equally trying. Seneca believed that being able to stand on your own two feet was crucial and we should not let our happiness depend entirely on others. By not always being the one to message first, you're indicating you're fine on your own, giving them the chance to miss you and express their care. Epictetus emphasized self-discipline and considerate behavior, saying, with two ears and one mouth, we should listen more than we speak. This principle highlights the importance of listening and allowing for quiet moments, rather than continuously sharing our thoughts or making plans. It encourages us to consider when to reach out and when to pull back. Putting this into practice means thinking about how often you're the one initiating contact. It's okay to start conversations, but you should also give them the chance to do so. It's not about playing games. 
It's about ensuring both sides are genuinely invested in the relationship. Number nine, control your emotions. In the quest to become indispensable in someone else's life, the ninth key is the firm preservation of one's personal emotions. This, inherent to the essence of all relationships, demands that we not allow emotional tempests to forcefully arise and dominate us. But instead, we should proactively control them with patience and mutual respect. Marcus Aurelius, the ancient philosopher of profound wisdom, once advised that maintaining calmness and clear thinking is vital, stating, the wisest reaction to negative actions is not to retaliate with negativity. This approach to maintaining emotional balance implies not immediately responding with intense emotions, but rather considering matters calmly. This prevents us from being pulled too far or plunging too deeply. Seneca underscored the significance of not letting our emotions lead us. He recommended not to worry before there's a genuine reason. This lesson teaches us not to let anxiety or hastiness provoke us into thoughtless actions in our relationships. We should let events unfold naturally without prematurely forcing our emotions. Epictetus, with his enlightenment, also pointed out that managing how we respond is crucial. He explained that what matters is not what happens to us, but how we face it. Regarding emotional equilibrium, this entails understanding that we cannot control everything in our relationships, but we can manage our emotional reactions. This is not about maintaining distance, but about progressing gradually and observing how things develop in reality. It concerns being cautious with the speed and depth at which we invest our emotions in someone, thereby slowly exploring and allowing the emotional aspect of the relationship to naturally evolve. This not only helps protect you from harm, but also makes you more attractive because it demonstrates self-respect and the value you place on the quality of emotional connections. In summary, emotional balance requires wisdom in managing your own emotions. This means not rushing into deep emotional relationships, but allowing them to develop naturally and appropriately. This careful approach helps you become a stable and valued partner thereby making you a top priority in the hearts of others. Number 10, know the appropriate moment to leave. In the journey of asserting one's value in the eyes of others, the 10th step is to cultivate the courage to walk away when respect is no longer reciprocated. This step is not merely about recognizing one's personal worth, but also serves as a testament to one's steadfast self-respect, a critical criterion for others to see you as a priority in their lives. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, once instructed on the importance of inner strength and self-respect with the advice, the power lies within controlling your mind, not the events outside. Understand and master this, and you will uncover your true strength. This echoes as an affirmation of our rule. The bravery to step out of the shadows originates not from external sources, but from deep within. It signifies that although we cannot control the actions of others, we have the choice in how we respond. Seneca, another esteemed philosopher, emphasized the importance of self-esteem and never settling for less than what is deserved. He stated, Life is a grand narrative. Its value does not lie in its length, but in the quality of its substance. This implies that in choosing whom to spend our time with, we should prioritize the quality of relationships over quantity to avoid unnecessary loneliness. Epictetus, with his sharp intellect, also asserted that true freedom belongs to those who deeply understand the value of learning. He believed freedom is not the absence of constraints, but the power to choose, especially the right to walk away from a situation that does not respect one's dignity. Education here is not just about book knowledge,
but a profound awareness of one's worth and the need to be respected in all relationships. So, the readiness to depart is an acknowledgement of and a stand for your inherent worth. Fear should not bind you when leaving situations that fail to honor you as you rightly deserve. This principle holds profound significance because it communicates to all, including yourself, the indispensable truth that you are deserving of respect and immense value. It serves as a declaration of your expectations for more and a refusal to settle for less. This stoic posture is not just a reaction to external circumstances, but a deeply rooted stance in the understanding of one's value, empowering one to demand the respect and treatment that aligns with their true worth. Number 11. Discover happiness in learning and evolving. Beyond the 10 principles we have discussed, another cornerstone to becoming indelible is to nurture a ceaseless curiosity and an unyielding zest for learning. This philosophy hinges on perceiving each day as an opportunity to acquire a new piece of knowledge or to refine an existing skill. Picture yourself as a garden. Just as a garden flourishes under diligent care, you evolve through the continuous pursuit of knowledge and experimentation. This journey could lead you to adopt a new hobby, delve into books, or absorb the narratives and experiences of others. Constant growth renders you as an individual, brimming with vitality and perpetual transformation, making you a beacon of intrigue and companionship. Your eagerness to expand adds depth to your character, rendering you more compelling and appealing. It's akin to weaving new hues into your life's tapestry, enriching the fabric of your existence with complexity and allure. Foster kindness and empathy. Another pivotal step towards becoming a figure of precedence in others' lives is to cultivate kindness and empathy. This entails striving to comprehend the emotions of others and extending a helping hand whenever feasible. Kindness does not necessitate being a savior to all, but is manifested in the minutiae of understanding and compassion that signal your concern. Actions as simple as listening attentively to someone's woes, offering unsolicited assistance, or sharing a warm smile can significantly impact. Demonstrating kindness not only improves someone else's day, but also signals your reverence for the emotional state of others. Such warmth and attentiveness magnetize people towards you, as everyone yearns to be near someone who evokes feelings of comfort and comprehension. It's equivalent to being a gentle luminescence in someone's day. Your warmth and radiance draw people in, making you a cherished presence in their lives. As we conclude our conversation today, the key message I want you to hold on to is not just a reminder of your inherent worth, it is, more profoundly, a lesson in self-respect and belief in oneself. Never measure your worth by the gaze of another. Your value lies in the strength of your convictions, your self-respect, and your authenticity. You are a unique masterpiece, unreplaceable, painted with your own experiences, dreams, and knowledge. The rules I've shared with you do not view them merely as gentle advice, but as strong reminders of your greatness. Every step you take to recognize and cherish your worth not only declares to the world who you are, but also stands as evidence of your ceaseless effort and ambition. Though we part ways today, remember, your journey, the quest for self-discovery and continuous growth, never ends. If what I've shared today has brought you joy and value, I encourage you to continue following and subscribing so you miss none of the valuable lessons ahead. Thank you for spending this time with me, for reflecting and sharing. Continue to strive, to grow, and never forget that in the narrative of your life, you are always the protagonist, the one who determines the direction and value of your path. I look forward to seeing the new strides and meaningful progress in your journey when we next meet.
it is time to say farewell and wish you all the best.